Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of Test Chamber. Today we are checking out Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 5. I'm Brian Shea, I'm joined by Benjamin Reeves. How's it going, Brian? Pretty good. Uh, we are uh, just been sitting at this screen for a while while we waited to, for the uh, recording to start, yeah. and we've seen this loop we've about probably 20 this. times. Um, a lot of irresponsible behavior being put on display with Very this. Very captivating. Um, people going high in the air, people over the age of 50 skateboarding. Uh, Brian, you just came up to my desk like five minutes ago and said, Hey, bro, do you want to go skate? Hey, brah. I think I, I think I said bra. I don't know if this is what I envisioned. But so uh, it's here been, we are. <laughs> it's been a while since a mainline Tony Hawk entry. I mean, we had the ride games. We had games like uh, Tony Hawk Underground, uh, Project 8, American Wasteland, Downhill Jam. All those games didn't really fit like under the, the Tony Hawk Pro Skater moniker. Um, so it's been a while. Uh, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 4 was obviously the last mainline entry. Uh, I think that was on uh, original Xbox and PS2, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Brian, I've seen this intro so many times, so <laughs> I think you should press So there's play. quite a few different roster uh, updates. Yeah, there we go. So we have Tony we Hawk. Talking. Uh, we have Riley Hawk, um, Nyjah Houston, and then you know we have a whole bunch of other pros. And then it gets a little weird. We have the king from King's <laughs> Quest. Well, he's a great skater. Uh, and we have Little Wayne. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> it's just, you know, these are the pros that we have to play with. So Although the king is locked. The king is locked. I don't know how to unlock the king. Um, I just got this game for myself. I'm not the one reviewing it. Uh, that belongs to Matthew Cotto. That'll be up uh, when he finishes it. It's shame <laughs> it's not the Burger King guy. Yes, that would be much better, um, especially with his rich heritage in gaming with games like Sneak King. And Was he in a skateboarding game? I don't want to say. I don't that know. Seems right, but I'm it sounds wrong. like it should be, but I don't. I have no idea. So the cool thing about this is you can't customize your own character, which is kind of a letdown. But you can customize existing characters. So if I wanted to make Little Wayne look like this guy, I could. Or and. You can but also, his head would his sorry his name would still be Little Wayne or what? I think that it just a becomes a custom character. So these are locked things for me, but you can kind of see what they are. Some of those are from other games. Like that was the um, what's that name of that game where he's an octopus? Octodad. Octodad. Yeah. I mean, Octodad I wouldn't be surprised. Guy. Yeah. And let's give. I mean, I, we can't play as this guy, but you know, we can fool around a little bit. There's an odd gentleman uh, skateboard. Huh. Um. But yeah, I mean, there's a whole bunch of stuff that you can fool around with. We can jump right in, though. Uh, let's settle on a person, what we want our guy to look like. <laughs> let's, let's do that. That looks about right. That's how I feel on the inside. <laughs> All right, so we're going to select that, and we're going to jump right in here. Uh, so there is a create a park option, which we can take a look at real quick. We're not going to go into it, but you get a few templates, and then... You can just kind of fool around. These look like uh, templates of levels from Tony Hawk games past, and also uh, game or levels that are included in this game. So I haven't played any of this aside from the, the tutorial, but it looks like we have eight levels off the bat. Um, I don't know if there's any hidden below that, but we get to play in the, the Wait, barracks. Right, right. Asteroid belt is before mountain. Yeah, I, you'd I, think like it would progress. But like, look at oh, I don't know. Look at that crazier. mountain. That mountain looks pretty intimidating. Look at its natural beauty. Let's see. That that looks like a run-of-the-mill skate park. Yeah, run-of-the-mill space station. In, yeah. you know, space. So you can kind of see what these levels are like. Okay. Um, school looks, you know, kind of reminiscent of, of previous Tony Hawk games. Eh, some of these things are like just electricity running off wires. That doesn't scream Tony Hawk to me. <laughs> uh, just giant pits of fire. It's ah, not that, that, quite that's kind of Tony hawk -ish. Tony Hawk. Eh. So we can... Do a private game, which you know it's kind of offline, or we can do a public game. Uh, we're gonna jump right into a public server here. So, okay. What you do is it, it just drops you into like a free skate thing. You have uh, objectives. That, so, you, collecting skate is one of the objectives from uh, Tony Hawk games pasts. So, Brian, big thing with Tony Hawk always been the controls. How does this feel? Uh, it doesn't feel bad. I, I I think it it feels you know like to, like I wanted to remember a Tony Hawk game feeling like. So, you know, you can, there's a few new additions, like Show slamming down. Skills. Oh, that was not great. So, you skate around a little bit, then you find these objectives right here. So, attack of the drones. I, I have no idea what any of this is. This is, seems like it's pretty far down. Um, let's, let's look for something a little yeah, bit oh, better. Oh, it's only a three star. 
Well, they're all three stars. So you, uh, I don't know what Ring Rumpus is, but it's Try one it. one higher than Attack of the Drones. So we're going to play single player. You can also do co-op. Um, and then you have a separate loading screen. All right, so not sure what we're supposed to do. Okay, there we go. Race through all the rings as fast as possible. So you have different ratings. So to get three stars, we would need to beat this in 30 seconds. I really don't think that's going to happen just based on my skill level. Okay. I'm all for like having sort of. Oh, that was bad. No. Oh, you got it. All for having like missions hidden inside the level. Of yeah. Uh, We're off to an awful start here. But that's not like in terms of going back to the series roots. That's not not quite super faithful. Uh, I'm oh. fine with it, but I wish the loading screens weren't there. I wish you could just pop right in immediately. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, that seems like it'd be annoying to run around. You're already in that level, and then to immediately. Have to get shuttled into another loading screen. Seems oh, like I ridiculous. should have just grinded that, I guess. Get over there. Oh, yeah. so what I get? 45 you seconds. That's not right. bad. You did all right. All right, so that we got a two star. So the way you unlock the next level. All right, so I'm returning to free skate. Well, at least here. there's no loading screen after. Oh, so no, returning to free skate in 48 it, 48 seconds. Oh, what or the? no, there is. Or we're just jumping right back into the. Load. All right. That's, so see, I mean, at least weird. it's not a super long that's load screen. No, although it might make a difference if you were playing offline. Maybe, because it seemed like it's like almost like a party system. Um, what was I saying? Let's play this. All right, let's do how high. Oh, so you saw that I have all the levels locked except for barracks. Um, you need 15 stars in the level before the next level to okay. unlock that. Yeah, that's cool. All right, so I don't know what we're doing here. Okay, so your score, let's see. Okay, so I guess we just get a high score. 5,000 points is a three star. All right, can I do it? That wasn't great. You almost got there. How much Tony Hawk did you play back in the day, right? Um, I played a lot. Like, I bought a PS1 just for Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1. Okay. Um, and then I continued buying them on PS1. And I think I went all the way up through Project 8 which was on Xbox 360. So I stuck with it for quite a while. I never played the ride games, and from what I understand, that's a good call. Right. We have a bunch of ride boards around the office. Yes, we do. Because they sent us, I don't know, like 20 of those dumb ride games when it actually came out. And so, we actually used them just to stand on, because it actually is kind of fun to like rock back and forth on a ride board. So I did special, so we're going to check out some special moves here. So those are just... Are those all customizable? I don't know. I haven't delved into that too much. I think they might be. So I just reverted into a manual. I'm going to do it again here. I'm just racking up the combos. And you've spent how long in this? Um, Approximately not a whole lot of time. Yeah, that's approximate. In uh, tutorial mode only, too. Sure. But mission-wise, seems somewhat similar to old-school Tony Hawk. Yeah. Which I like Tony Hawk, the sort of arcade aspect of it, of just sort of diving in and out of levels and mm -hmm. trying so, yeah, to there we go. all of the missions. I'm sticking pretty close to the, the two-star range for all of these. Um, let's return to Free Skate. I I'll should say, I loved that part of Tony Hawk like 15 years ago. And I'm not... Like when Tony Hawk, their HD version came out, was it a year ago, two years ago? I think it was like three years ago. Uh, was it really? I mean, that was an Xbox 360 game. That wasn't, like, I don't think Xbox One had been announced by that point, huh. or Xbox I 360 was, and PS3. I was kind of excited for that, actually, but then when it came out, you played it, and you're like, it doesn't really feel yeah, so as tight as I remember. Let's do some big head mode. So hopefully this will do what that didn't and sort of start something new, but we will see. We will. I All right, have, so this I have is, some slight reservations. Maybe this isn't called Big Head Mode. It was called Big Head Barracks. Your head is going to pop. Do tricks to survive as long as you can. So I guess I've survived 40 seconds to at least get one star. So is my head just going to grow as this goes on? So you do tricks to keep your yeah, head see, from my head popping? Is, is that what I'm understanding here? Yeah, it looks like that. Keep doing tricks. Don't drop that trick. He nailed it. Yeah, he was super amped about that. Uh -huh. Whoa, that was close. So when did you... 
Why don't you activate your Superman? Oh, I wasn't even paying attention. I was just trying to keep my head from popping. Who's your favorite Tony Hawk? I think I like Tony. Uh, do you have a favorite Tony Hawk game, though? Oh, um, I think I like two. Oh, you know what? I think I figured this out. You oh, no, wanna, I'm stuck. You want to get your head to pop. Is that what it is? No, that's not it at all. Are you sure? It says keep doing tricks. Keep doing tricks. It, no, because I was supposed to survive. Yeah, see, my head popped, and luckily I was in pro mode, or uh, pro level at that point. All right, you win this time. <laughs> All right, so we're heading back there. So there are other things you can do. I think when you're in free skate, you can hit... I'm on play, uh, playing on a PlayStation 4 right now. Hit the touchpad. You can uh, do different modes. So I guess you can challenge people around you to do trick attack, deathmatch, combo mambo, big head, and king of the hill. I haven't done any of these. I don't know if anybody would even join. Let's do some trick attack. I don't know if that if anybody's going to join. If not, then we're just going to do some trick attack on our own. So I'll just skate around in the Let's meantime. Let's unlock here. another level. Can you look around and see the like sky? Um, we might be indoors. I feel like we're in a weird box. Yeah, we're in indoors. We're inside. This is inside an old barracks. Yeah. Is this a real skate park? I have no idea. Um, Believe it or not, Ben Hansen or Ben Hans Ben Reeves, I am uh, not a seasoned skateboarder. If you're just tuning tuning in, uh, these are Game Informers two Game Informer skating pros talking about Tony Hawk. <laughs> so did you ever try? Skateboarding? I'm not a talking pro. I'm just a gaming pro. <laughs> did I ever try Tony Hawk? Is did you ever was? try like real skateboarding? Yeah, actually, uh, before right, so Tony Hawk was ever a thing, I was. I did skateboarding like when I was a kid, when I was like eight, and I probably did it for like two weeks, and then I fell and skinned up my knee real bad, and I was like, I'm never gonna do that again. I don't know what just happened. So uh, I, I actually have a real, uh, I don't know, admiration for anybody who does skateboarding for long term is good because you know they've fallen oh, down like a that. lot, yeah, and they've hurt themselves a lot, and for some reason they keep getting back up on that board, and that kind of blows my mind yeah i think that uh when i got into tony hawk um well, i don't know why playstation notifies you of stuff like that um when i tried tony hawk i got into skateboarding for like like you said like two weeks and uh it was not for me at all let's play with russ <laughs> I don't even think he's in this game. I think it's just like notifying me like, hey, this guy joined a party. Why don't you join a party? Why don't you make something of your life? All right. All right. So can we, I am can the we do only. Else here? Yeah, I'm the only person in this, so we can leave whenever. This is just the score attack. That was awesome. <laughs> so, um, uh, I don't know if we can. Let's just exit game. Maybe that'll get us back to the map. No, it'll just take us back to the... Try offline this time. Yeah, let's do private match. I don't know if that's offline or if it's just like invite only. So the way that uh, Robomoto, the developer, I think has described the free skate mode is it's like a 24-hour skate park, which I guess it kind of has that, that feel because you jump in and there's just other random people there. It's almost like... Almost like Destiny, where you jump into a world and there's like just random people skating around you, and I mean just like Destiny. <laughs> I remember that always, part of Destiny. They're always skating in Destiny. Um, so yeah, there are free skate objectives like getting the skate. Um, but let's do this up here. I really want a Mountain Dew. Glendale Grind. That sounds like one that we can do. Music definitely has the Tony Hawk feel. Um, there's only one song that I've recognized so far. Let's see. So scores derived from distance you can grind multiplied by your sh your trick modifier. I'll accept that challenge. All right. Well, I think that's a decent glimpse at uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 5. Um, again, thanks for joining us, and uh, we will see you Thank next time you. in uh, Test Who's Chamber.